For this craft, you'll need flour, baking powder, salt, and food coloring. You'll mix that with water, so you'll need measuring cups, a bowl to mix in, and then Ziploc bags and rubber bands to paint with. First, we'll start with the dry ingredients. One cup of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Now you're gonna mix it all together so the ingredients are evenly distributed. Now we're gonna add water. Just add a little bit at a time and mix it in thoroughly before adding more. You're gonna want to get the consistency of pancake batter. Slightly runny, but not drippy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna separate our mixture into four different bags. If you put your bag over a cup, it makes it easier to fill, just like this. And you're gonna repeat that until all four bags are full. Now you're gonna add a couple of drops of food coloring to each bag. You're going to want to seal your bag up tight and try to remove as much air as possible. Then you're just going to squish and squeeze and mash the bag to spread the color evenly. Now I'm taking my little rubber spatula and pushing all of the colored mixture into the corner of the bag because this is where the paint will come from. Now you're going to use the rubber band to tie your bag shut. You want it to have a little bit of pressure so when you squeeze it the mixture comes out but not so tight that when you cut the tip off, it'll all explode out. Now to start painting, all you have to do is clip off the corner of your bag. A small clip means small lines. A bigger clip means bigger lines. I found that using thicker paper like cardstock holds the paint a little bit better. Now to finish up, we're going to transfer our completed work into the microwave and we're going to microwave it for 30 to 45 seconds.
Be careful taking your paper out of the microwave because it might be hot. But once it cools, you can appreciate your beautiful puffy creations. Thanks for watching.